What's going on, everybody? We are here yet again at the tabletop, so that means you know we're reviewing something. And today, that is, per the title, you guys could have almost potentially guessed what the video is on, hence why you might have even clicked on said video from just reading the title. Although I guess in today's day and age, that's all it ever is anymore, just reading the headlines. But anywho, today we are talking about the best Kydex in the world, in my opinion, for inside the waistband carry, everyday carry, and that's Harry's Holsters. Link in the description box below. It'll also be pinned in the comment section below if after this video you decide to check them out. And if you use code Terribly Tactical, you will indeed get 10% off your entire order as many times as you use that. So, shameless self-promotion aside, let's talk about it. First off, Glock 43, Harry's Holster Singleton Rig. Um, and this is in its base format. Harry did send this out for free. Um, big shout out to Harry. Dude, Harrison, you're an awesome dude. You make an awesome product. And uh, I wear it proudly. This thing is literally the best holster on the market for a Glock 43. When I had the Taurus GX4, I thought that was going to be my new carry gun. He sent me out the same exact rig for it, and it was amazing. It carries the gun perfectly. Um, I like the simple, sleek setup. No extra nothing. Okay, all you need to carry the gun. Now, that being said, it is offered um, with the foam backing that protrudes out and pushes the gun in, as well as the wedge that hangs off the side and, again, pushes the gun in. I find for myself, especially with a smaller gun, um, I don't have any problem concealing this whatsoever, no matter what I'm wearing, and I carry an appendix, and with these carry uh, discrete carry concepts clips, I believe it is, uh, or at least something similar, they're the best. These are the best metal spring clips you could put on a holster, period. And uh, they're on every single one of Harry's holsters. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome setup. There is no adjustable retention on this rig, because you don't need it. It's molded perfectly for the gun and completely modular in its setup. Again, we talked about adding the accessories to it if you want to make it even more concealable. But this is a relatively small gun, and I'm a little bit of a bigger dude. And uh, so it's not a problem regardless, and I like that it's just slim. There's no extra unnecessary bulk, and it works, it carries, it stays orientated, if that's a word, on the belt line where I put it. I have that same perfect high combat grip out of the holster every time. Uh, it's, it's cut perfectly. Also, bear in mind you, this will work for not only for the 43, but the 43X. It's the same upper. Uh, the trigger guard and, and all that is not much wider, if at all. And, as you can see here, the way that it's cut, it's cut to accommodate a dot. Everybody's running a dot nowadays on their, on their carry guns, especially these micro compacts. It'll take a dot. Also, if you notice, it will take suppressor height or co-witness height sights for that dot in this holster. The only thing it won't accommodate is a threaded barrel if you're running that, but a lot of the times, unless it's just for uh, doing it for the gram, what are you really putting a threaded barrel on your, and then you're, you're running a comp, or you're, if the only cool, if you just EDC the suppressor with it, I guess, but at that point, like, that would just be for the memes. I don't know, but Harry's holster, anything that I, I, I carry, typically is going to be in a Harry's holster. The J-frame, the Smith & Wesson J-frame in the, uh, this not the Singleton, this is the Singleton in the Icon rig, extremely iconic. Uh, a five-shot snub from Smith & Wesson is, and uh, it's still a useful, viable tool. People carry those guns still, and there's not a, a lot of great options for a Kydex appendix-style rig for that gun, which is the perfect place to carry it because it's a great backup gun or even if it is just your primary carry harry makes the best holsters on the market um for for this genre of carry now i'm not a huge fan of you know big bulky holsters so like everybody oh the tier one or this or that or the the t-rex or the whatever all these t's they're stealing my swag um if you like something simple that's high fit and finish okay let's let's take a look at it everything's molded perfectly seamless, polished appropriately. You've got, le it's ambidextrous for one, completely ambidextrous, so you don't have to worry about ordering right or left hand necessarily, I guess, depending on the gun maybe. But you can adjust the cant, you can adjust the ride height. 
Again, the, the retention doesn't need adjustment because it fits the gun so flawlessly. Nice, positive, authoritative click. It's not coming out. There's even extra weight on the gun with the aluminum base plate on here, and it's fine. Uh, running a Mariglow U-Dot night sights. I prefer the lime green, but the orange is what we had. Uh, works. They're steel. But again, no extra bulk, no unnecessary bulk. It's not going to stick out or protrude. There's not extra pieces bolted onto it unless you want that, unless that is your jam, and that's how you're going to run it, then by all means. Again, I personally don't find it necessary for you know a small gun like this, but maybe if you're carrying a Glock 19 with a dot on it and whatever, then maybe you, you want those things or you need those things, and those things are offered and available to you, and again, you could save 10% off your entire order. Code terribly tactical. It's working out for everybody, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I've been carrying this. I wanted one. I wanted one for the Glock 26. And unfortunately, Harry doesn't make a singleton for the Glock 26, which would also be the same for a Glock 27 or a Glock 33. He does make them for the 19s. He makes holsters for 17s. But none for the Glock 26, 27, or 33. And that's disappointing to me, Harry. If you watch this video, if you hear us in the comment section, there's going to be, I know Pauli Gutierrez or, or, or Salvatore Big Puss is going to be in the comments. You know, Barry Suss in the comments. They're one and the same. Talking about how we need a Harris Holster Singleton for a Glock 26. There's a lot of people that like the Glock 26 that would love to be able to carry it in a Harris Holster. Because this one for the 43 is perfection for IWB single stack 9mm carry or double stack micro compact, a small gun, a subcompact, a micro compact, whatever you're calling it these days. This is the perfect holster, in my opinion, for this method of carry. For me, I think it would be just as good for the 26. Especially now, since you could shove a freaking 33 shot stick in it and up your capacity, I don't know. I don't know, the toy. you guys are sleeping on the Glock 26, but I will say, because I'm lazy, and because I love this holster and this gun, and it actually shoots really, really well for me, and, uh, you know, I can reload a pistol, so I'm not super worried about capacity. Uh, I've been nonstop carrying this gun in this rig, just like this appendix, every single day. It's perfectly comfortable. I could sit down, I could high knee, I could move. It's, I don't even feel it. It's there when I need it. It's lightweight. There's no extra bulk. It goes in and out of the holster smoothly, locks in appropriately, and I've had nothing but good experience with any of Harry's Holsters products. And that's not because I get them for free. It's not because me and him are cool. It's not because of anything like that. Like, I represent... Well, I guess I don't represent him or his company, but I'm showing you the product and presenting you the product and telling you the truth about it because it is that good in my opinion and I use it I literally you could ask anybody that knows me they catch me walking around with a gun which is always it's in a Harry's holster so that's the video guys let me know what you think let me know if you're rocking some Harry's holsters out there what gun and what rig um, again, huge shout out to Harry's Holsters for sending this out and all this stuff that he has. Uh, he gets on the live chats every now and again. He's always got some insightful shit to say. I appreciate him as a person. I appreciate his company and what they're doing. Uh, and it's very affordable too. I'm pretty sure this rig is like in base format, like $49.95 or something. And then you get 10% off with Coke Terribly Tactical. So he's, he's providing quality in an affordable price point. And he's a good dude who truly supports the Second Amendment and freedom. He's not just after it to make a buck. He's constantly working on the design and making improvements. I'm down with it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you check the first three links in the description box below, though. Those are the most important links. If you click on any links, you know, definitely check out Harry's holsters for sure. But more importantly, we have to fight for our gun rights because if we don't have any guns, we're not going to need any holsters. You know what I'm saying? So let's do our part. Stand up. Speak out participate participate here on the channel that helps out a ton liking sharing commenting on the content uh subscribe ring that notification bell if you haven't stay tuned we'll see you on the next one peace